Hello everyone. Welcome back to Arpita's Tech Corner. Today we are going to learn about four information functions which are contains, contains row, contains string and contains string exact function. So you will get this working file and the data set in the GitHub folder. Please check the description section in this video. Then you will get the GitHub link. Before proceed with some practical example, let us understand what is the purpose of these four functions. First of all, this contains. It returns true if values for all referred columns exist or are contained in those columns, otherwise the function returns false. I took this definition from the Microsoft online portal. And the syntax is contains, then the table name, column name, value and like this. In the similar way, contains row, that is also returns true if there exists at least one row where all columns have specified values. For this, syntax is table, values, etc. Okay, and the contains string that is also written true or false, which is indicating whether a one string contains another string. That means within this text, you need to find the other text which is available or not. Then it will return true or false. In the similar way, contains string exact that is also behave like this contains string, but what is the difference between these two functions? This content string exact function is case sensitive. So let us explore how we can use these functions in our practical experiment. Okay. For that, first I will create one new page and I am going to import superstore sample data. You can get this data set from the GitHub folder. So I will import the data. For that, I am going to click on this CSV. Click on this. And click on load. Now this table is ready. First, I will create some sample measure, which I need for this uh, calculation. For example, start with total cells. Okay. Now I will create another measure. Total customer count. Which is I am going to use distinct count of customer ID. Now our two measures are ready. Okay. First I will start with contains. Okay. First we are going to create one calculated measure with contains. So let us type contains and first we need to pass the table name. Okay. Our table name is US Superstore data. Then comma, we need to pass the column name. I'm going to pass the product ID. Now we need to provide the value. Okay. So we are going to pass some sample product ID from this data set. I'm copying one product ID and pasting here. Just change the measure name. Okay, now save it. Now this measure is ready. Let us see how we can use this measure in a report. For example, I am going to select one table and let me select region, ship mode, and this new measure. Now from this report, what we observe? We are getting values 
like true and false. But it's not solving our customer requirement. Let us see how we can use this measure in some proper customer requirement. Okay. For that, what we are going to do? Let us create another calculated measure and try to find out the customer count where this product ID is available. That means how many customers they have purchased this product. How will you do that? So I'm just giving some name. Okay. If use of these contents equal to true, then the total customer count else zero. Okay. Now you can create another report where you can display this data. Let us copy this report and paste it. Just instead of this use content, click on this cust count. Now you can observe, here you will get for this combination, we have zero record and for this combination as 16, okay. Now, uh, if you want, you can just, just filter out with this greater than zero and you will get a proper report. So, this contents function is ready for your application. Let us proceed with another function. For that, I am going to create another page. Now, we are going to use contents row function. For that, I am going to create another measure. Let us keep some name. Okay. Now, I am going to use calculate function. Within that calculate function, here I am going to use count of rows and the table name comma I need to provide some filter condition for that I am going to use this contains row and we need to provide some table for the test here table means I am going to use the value of this product ID for which I want to find out how many rows have this product ID okay so, I am going to copy this product ID, comma, the product ID, field name. Close the bracket, just save it. Now, this function is ready. Now, we are going to check how many rows for this region has this product ID. Okay. Here we can find out the central region has two rows. Do you want to validate? Let's see. I'm going to select this table view again and region. Let me select this product ID. And we need to provide the filter condition for this. Just removing this all this select this filter condition and you can get the four rows we need to add this customer id in this report because we have used count of rows okay and the data is based on the customer id so for this central we are getting two rows matching for east we are getting four rows for south, two rows, and for west, five rows. So, in this way, you can validate this function also for your report. Okay, so now this contains row function is ready. Now, we are going to learn how we can use contains string function and contains string exact function. Okay, so for that, 
I don't have any proper value set. So for that, we are going to create one calculated column and let me give some name. Okay. Now contains string function. The first uh, parameter is for within text. Okay. So for example, A, B, C, D. Okay. This is small example. And I need to find some and some test which is within this text value. Okay. So for example, I'm going to type B, C. Okay. My this function is ready. Let us create another calculated column using this contains string exact function. And then we'll see the report side by side. Okay. Contains string exact function. Okay. Now we'll type contains string exact function. Click on this. Here also we need to pass one text. Here also I'm passing this ABCD. But for the second parameter, I'm going to pass this capital one. Okay. Now save this. Let us create one table view. And just check how it works. I'm selecting this two value. So the for the first content string, we are getting true. And for this one, I'm getting false. But for example, for the content string, instead of capital BC, just change it to small BC. Here you can observe it is true. So that means we need to find the proper text. That means it is case sensitive. Okay. So when we have passed capital VC, it is written false. But the small VC, it is written true. Let us check how we can use this content string if we pass this capital BC. Just click on this. And instead of small BC, type capital BC. Here it is true. That means content string is not case sensitive, but content string exact is case sensitive. Okay. So in your requirement, you have to be very careful which one you need to use. Okay. So from this video, you learn about four information functions in DAX, which is contains contains row, contains string and contains string exact functions. If you need this working file, please check the description section where I am providing the GitHub link. Also, you can get this data source also. Okay. If you like this video, please share with your friend and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.